Hey Cortana, open Amazon. Hey Cortana, open Yelp. Hey Cortana, open YouTube. What's up guys? Windows 10 brings a lot of new improvements to their operating system, including their new personal assistant known as Cortana. But what if you can use Cortana to push voice commands to your Android phone? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how easy it is to set this up. So without further ado, let's get started. Now there are some prerequisites in order to make this work. You'll need a PC running the latest version of Windows 10, and you're also going to need an Android phone with a few apps installed like Tasker, Auto Voice, and Auto Remote. Now having a basic understanding of Tasker is a bonus, but in case you've never used any of these applications, I'm gonna leave a few links down below to help you get started. Now, assuming you've already downloaded Tasker, Auto Remote, and Auto Voice, the first thing you'll need to do is open up Chrome and download the Auto Remote Chrome extension. Once installed, right click on the icon and go into the options. Under Cortana options, you'll wanna check Send Cortana Commands and also Close Tab after Cortana Command. Then you'll need to add your device. So I'm gonna put Galaxy S6 since that's what I am using. In the next field, you'll need to add the device short personal URL. And you can find your unique URL by going into your Android phone and opening up Auto Remote. Enter the URL exactly how it looks, then click on Add Device. Now you should see at the bottom a new device added with a green background. Check on Send Cortana Commands and then click on Save. Then all you need to do is click on register Chrome on devices and you are done with this part. In order to make this work properly, you need to make sure that Chrome is a default browser. In order to check this, go into settings, system, default apps, and under web browser, make sure Google Chrome is the one that's selected. Now you'll need to download a custom Tasker profile and you can download this through the developer's website, Joaz Diaz, and I'll leave a link down below so you don't have to look for it. Once you download that file, put that file on your phone. And once that file is on your phone, you'll need to open up Tasker, push on Profiles, and then import it. If you did everything right, you should see a new profile called Remote Auto Voice. Now, assuming that you already have some Auto Voice profiles in Tasker, you can now use Cortana to execute any Tasker task using voice. Now, test it out to make sure everything is working properly. Hey Cortana, set home temperature to cool. Hey Cortana, turn on living room television. Hey Cortana, set phone to vibrate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit that like button. Thanks again for watching and you'll catch me in the next one. Adios. All right. Hey Cortana, make me some popcorn. Sounds good, popcorn, yeah. All right, some crispy popcorn. Oh, they're popping. All right. Fresh popcorn. Fresh popcorn. Yummy. I think it's done. Let's see here. Ooh. Toasty. All right. Actually, let's try it first. Let's see. Oh man. Crispy. Mmm. Very good.